everybody. My name is Eric. This is the 5 to 9 Hustle. It's the 5 to 9 because I work a regular 9 to 5. And from 5 to 9, I'm, I'm doing my side hustle, which is selling things online on sites like eBay, Amazon, Mercari, Poshmark, um, that I buy for a low cost and sell for a profit. And today I wanted to talk about uh, reseller confusion or a potential pitfall. I see this sort of thing a lot online in Facebook groups. You know, somebody sees something once in a video or they read on Facebook from some random person, uh, a reselling truth, you know, like in this case, oh, sports video games are the worst. Those are trash. Just, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to buy those. And, you know, if you stop and actually look at it, like everything else, yeah, most of them are trash. Most of them have very low resale value. Um, but there are a small percentage and a pretty common to come by group of games that are worth reselling. Uh, some for very good money, but a ton that go in like that bread and butter 10 to $15 range, 20 bucks um, that you can sell individually instead of as a, just a cheap lot. And that's going to help you um, make buys as well if you're buying a system with a lot of games with it uh, and you can spot value in those games that other people can't then you can go stronger into that negotiation and get uh, and make the buy in my area at least you have to go quick and strong with video game buys if you want to be the one lucky enough to to get it so first here's what we're not going to talk about I'm not going to talk about stuff like NBA Elite 11 if you don't know you can see it there, the holy grail of sports games. It was a game that was not supposed to be released. It's uh, extremely glitchy. Only a few, I think, like demonstration copies made it out to the public. And it's just purely a collector's item. And you see here one surface with a price tag of $10,000 uh, four years ago. We don't, need to, we don't need to talk about that type of thing. We don't need to know that because you're not going to find NBA Elite 11 at a thrift store or a yard sale. You're just not, all the copies are accounted for, okay? Um, and so we, you know, a top 10 list of the 10 most expensive sports games of all time that, that sold at rich people's toy auctions. You know, we, don't, we don't need to, to know that information. I'm also not gonna talk about really retro consoles, um, like Atari 2600, Sega Genesis, the original Nintendo, Super Nintendo, GameCube, uh, if you find games for those systems, even if they are sports games, you should probably look into them. And if they're cheap, you know, you might want to buy them, uh, especially GameCube. I, I'll buy any GameCube game I can find if it's, if it's cheap enough um, without looking it up. And then by the same token, I'm not going to talk about games for the mobile platforms like the PSP, Nintendo DS, uh, Game Boy, PS Vita, that kind of thing. Uh, the versions of sports games for the handhelds do tend to be worth more um, than the non-handheld. So if you find uh, games for mobile systems, even if they are sports games, you want to look into those. Don't just ignore them just because they're sports games. And one other thing we're not going to talk about is Mario games. There are a number of sports games um, for that feature Mario and Sonic and people like that. If you see a game with Mario on the cover, even if it is related to sports in some way, go ahead and look that up. You probably want to buy it. All right. So let's get into the meat of it. First, I want to talk about some um, more obvious things that you should probably know. It, but if you just in case you don't, here you go. One is Wii Sports. And you can see we've got one sold here for $25.99. And that is a uh, pretty typical sales price for Wii Sports. See, this next one is listed as disc only and sold for $17.99. This is how it came. So you don't need to call this disc only. Like this, that is actually a complete Wii Sports. And they um, very often go right around that 25 bucks, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. Uh, even if you don't have the sleeve, you only have the disc, you can probably still get close to 25 bucks for it. Uh, this also is true for Wii Sports Resort. And then uh, there is a disc that is a Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort combination. And that one goes for 40 bucks all day long. So you definitely want to grab Wii Sports if you can. Or again, if, if you're negotiating on a Wii bundle and they have the Wii Sports that came with it, you know, just check off in your mind, okay, I've got 25 bucks there already to work with, right? 
And then we're going to have the, um, where'd my stuff go? Ah, oh, yes. We're out of order. We're going to have the grails. And one is NCAA football 14. This is, you're still able to find this out in the wild. Not everyone recognizes the value and they're clearing out old stuff. And this is the, the you know, a major cha-ching right here. If you find one sealed, oh, uh, you know, yay. I have found one uh, at a church thrift store. It was in a bin of DVDs underneath a table. You know, so you never know. Um, so if you didn't know, NCAA football 14 is uh, in excess of a $100 game, $125 game. You see the prices people have gotten here recently. I'm not sure why that one only went for $68. Somebody, you could even buy that for $68 and flip it if you really wanted to. Um, disc only, you can get $80 bucks for this game. Uh, the reason, this is the last NCAA football game that was made uh, before there were court cases about the athletes' rights and uh, people making money off their likeness and them not getting paid for it and all that kind of stuff. You can read about it online. But the thing for you to know, very expensive game. Uh, you're very happy if you find that. And a trend that you definitely see within this list in sports video games is the last available of something will continue to hold value. Next, by the same token, we've got ugh, NCAA Basketball 10. Does not go as high as uh, NCAA Football 14, but still $70, $80, $90 game. Here's one brand new that was graded that went for $300. Uh, yeah, so you want to look for Blake Griffin on the cover, and you know you've got an $80 game. PS3, Xbox 360 sell about the same. Okay, so moving on. Oh, I wanted to mention, thanks for sticking with me this far. Uh, link below in the description to my website. I have a blog post with all this listed out, and in that post also a link to a spreadsheet if you just want to download that. Uh, I actually have... 50 games listed on there. We're not going to go through all of them in this video because I don't want to make a two-hour video. So, uh, good, good info down in the description there. Okay. Tiger Woods. Tons of Tiger Woods golf games out there. Um, I actually just sold this one. 1095. That was me. Uh, Xbox 360 and PS3. Tiger Woods 12, the Masters. Uh, 10, $12 game. Easy. However, notice the one right below me, if you get the Wii version of that game, it goes for a lot more, $35, $40. Uh, other Tiger Woods that are worth looking out for, too, 13, you see here's a Master's Collector's Edition, went for 17, uh, but Tiger Woods 14 was your last Tiger Woods Golf, and the Master's Edition of that is about a $40, $45 game, and the non-Master's version is still close to like 15, 20 bucks. So yeah, there's money in Tiger Woods. Here we have uh, NCAA Football 11. It's TiVo time. And because it's TiVo, you can get between 10 and $15 for this game. Uh, 15 if it's complete with the manual, it's like a $15 game. But look what happens if we don't look at PS3 and Xbox 360. And when you throw PS2 on there, look what happens now. It's a $45 game. So this was the last NCAA football that was available for the PS2. $45 game. I guarantee if you came across that at a yard sale, you would think, oh great, a $2 game. $45 game. Um, College Hoops 2K8. This is a great one if you can find it. Uh, this is the last College Hoops game that 2K Sports made. Uh, their line of sports games are very popular. Uh, definitely um, a publisher worth looking out for and, and looking up their games when you find them. But yeah, $75, $80 game, easily. Unless, <laughs> this is like the opposite here of the, uh, the one we just looked at. Oh, there's one there. For whatever reason, that game on the PS2 doesn't go for nearly as much. It's more like a, a, like you see there, a $20 game. So staying with PlayStation 2, FIFA 12 Soccer. It's one of the only FIFA games, really, that you want to look out for. Uh, there's a couple other that made the list. 
but it's the last FIFA that was available for PS2. And, you know, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, a little bit higher if you're lucky uh, on that one. Madden, there are so many Madden games. Um, I wanted to call out a couple in particular. One is Madden 09, uh, which is not worth much in Xbox 360 and PS3 land. Uh, there's a couple different stories with this game. One, it featured Brett Favre on the cover in his uh, Packers uniform, but he had actually retired at the end of the previous season and then came out out, out of retirement to uh, play for the Eagles. So there's a whole weird thing. And then uh, they released a cover that you could download and print out with him in the right uniform and you could choose your cover. I've read that there were even games released that had a reversible cover. I'm not really sure if that's true or not. The whole point of this game, though, is you want the original Xbox. Let's see if I can find that real quick. Yes. The original Xbox version, which I do still... I know that's a bit of a retro console, but I do come across Xbox games uh, still pretty frequently. Um, goes for $35 doesn't really have anything to do with the whole um, sorry get myself back there doesn't really have anything to do with the whole uniform thing it's this was the last game produced for the original Xbox um, not the last Madden this is like straight up the last game they made for the original Xbox and for some reason that makes it uh, valuable to collectors so another Madden, and this is special mention, is Madden 08. Uh, well, and this one too, actually. The 20th anniversary edition, that's actually way undersold at 870. You can get more like 20 bucks for that. Yeah, like that one, 20 bucks. But Madden 08, you know, is a very cheap game, like most Maddens you would expect. Six bucks, four bucks, three bucks. Um, but check out. If you throw PC on there and you get the PC version, all of a sudden you got a $38, $40, $50 game. What, what happened? And just like everything else, um, for some reason, I don't remember why um, EA Sports quit making Madden for the PC platform after 08. And then it came back in like 2018 or something. Uh, so that's still a hugely popular game with PC gamers. Madden 08 for the PC good one to look out for and uh, I do come across PC games uh, fairly often in my thrift stores in particular like mixed in with the DVDs and video games and stuff like that so that's a good one to watch out for uh, so that's where I'm going to conclude the video and like I said before you know I want to help people when you come across this type of Facebook marketplace listing it's an Xbox 360 with some games somebody wants a hundred bucks for it is it worth a hundred bucks I don't know, uh, but if you there's you see there's some sports games in the uh, collection there. So if you see a twenty twenty five forty dollar game in there that other people just dismiss as a sports game, then you can go hard at this guy who's asking a hundred bucks, rather than be the guy coming in and be like, hey, would you take half, you know, and all that kind of stuff, and then you're gonna have more successful purchases by finding that value that other people are missing. Uh, so like I said. Check out the link in the description of the website. I have 50 games, 50 sports games that you can look out for. Uh, whole blog posts, photos of the covers to jog your memory. And then, like I said, if, you, um, if, you, if you're not a reader, you don't want to do all that, there is a link to a spreadsheet with all of them on there. Thanks for watching, guys. We will see you next time. Uh, please give me a, a subscribe if you don't mind. And uh, I love making content, and we will be back soon.